Question four, what happens if I want to set up my own branding or you have your own branding already? Um, so I see this as a very good thing. Um, and I'll explain why. Uh, I have multiple brands myself. So obviously NLP for Kids is one of them. I also have People Building, which is my more um, adult NLP training school. Um, I have the Hypnotherapy and NLP Clinic that I uh, trade through for my um, uh, coaching sessions with adults. Um, so there's a few different ones that I use. And what's helpful about that is it means that if someone does a search for maybe a hypnotherapist in Hertfordshire, which is where I'm based, they'll bump into me in a few different ways. So one way might be via NLP for kids and one way might be via the NLP clinic or even uh, people building, they might come across that one. Now what that means is if they see one website and it doesn't quite resonate with them, then they might just hop on to the next one and think, oh yes, I like this website, and actually it was me the whole time anyway. So I really encourage you to have multiple brands because that way uh, they can cross over. Um, and as long as you're not explicitly using what is the NLP for Kids material and claiming that it's your own and using it you know, under your own branding, you'll need to be genuinely doing something different which is complementary to NLP for kids um, then you know you could have a whole other website promoting your other stuff which feeds into your NLP for kids website and your NLP for kids work and maybe feed into the other areas and specialisms that you have as well so absolutely start thinking about some alternative branding to use alongside your NLP for kids branding too